You're watching on assignment with Anneli, the video blog that takes a local perspective on events and issues six feet apart. Shelley Wolf, uh, the auditor of Freeman uh, County, is talking to me uh, about the election uh, and what, what's, what's been happening, Shelley. Go ahead. Well, we've been very, very busy. Had a great turnout here at the Mauer site, what we call the Mauer site. <laughs> um, for absentee voting, it's been very busy. Um, what we're running into is a lot of people have already requested an absentee ballot and then they choose to come here and vote in person. Um, the fact that we have already issued them a ballot is a one ballot per voter. Um, we can't just give a voter a second ballot. So when they come here and they want to vote in person and they don't have that ballot with them that they received in the mail, we're asking them to either go home and vote that ballot and, and use the drop box or the mail to return that ballot, or if they want to vote here, they can bring it and vote here. Um, the other thing they can do if they feel comfortable making a statement and affirming that they lost that ballot, if that's really true, that they never received it or lost it, um, then there's a form they can fill out and we'll give them a second ballot. But that's issuing a second ballot, so those, those ballots are one ballot per person and we're, we're tracking that and it's highly guarded so hopefully everyone can understand why if they get here and they have a ballot at home that we can't just give them a second ballot so just to be clear people you track who you send ballots to that's how you know correct yep. that's how we know that voter, voter x had a ballot issued to them correct yep okay and is it possible that people genuinely forgot or it's possible that you know people receive from so many sources information that they were just kind of confused and don't even know where the the, 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 the ballot is that happens yep and then we have them complete that form and say hey I really I didn't receive it or I genuinely lost it or I had one yesterday they said they laid it close to something else that went in the garbage and they're 99% sure it went in the garbage and that it's mm -hmm. gone so there are legitimate issues where people um, can sign that statement and we will replace the ballot. Absolutely, we're here to help them. We want people to vote. It's just understanding that if we've already issued a ballot and you have it at home and you know that it's at home, that is the ballot that we need you to vote. How many have you sent so far? Oh, goodness, through the mail? Yes, approximately. Well, Monday morning we mailed 4,600. And wow, now just through in one day? Well, that was everything we've received up to Monday. So now it's been about 80 a day we've been putting in the mail. And then here we've had uh, an average of 150 per day the first three days. And then yesterday it was more like 80 some voters here in person, plus what we mailed out. So it's very busy, very active. It's been good. So, so just to help people, to help people, they need to know they need to go back, look through their mail, see if it's there, right? Yep. Yep, and most of them know they already have it. They understand that they have it. They 